All right, in this video, we're gonna pick right up with part two of the stopwatch. Part one covered the tasker piece. Now we're gonna dive into the custom piece. The wallpaper that you see here is actually the stopwatch component. But again, in part one, I did show you an animated wallpaper and then I did show you this component as well. Virtually identical with the exception of the animations. So you can pick up the animated preset from my free wallpapers folder, look for stopwatch. The one I'm showing you here is in the free components folder and also that is called stopwatch as well. Inside of this component, we have three things to look at. Let's go over to globals first though. The size is going to be the size of the time. We have a status, that's a list global variable. I have started, stopped, and reset. Very similar to what we had inside of Tasker. For current, that's the one we're going to see in green, and here is the formula for current. DF capital S is the current epoch time, and then back when we did the tasker, the part one, I talked about a epoch S that I called start. So we take the current epoch time, which is constantly changing, we subtract that variable that got stored in tasker, which was triggered when we pressed the start button, and then we also want to add on any add-on time that we also talked about in Tasker as well. Again, watch part one to see where these two variables came from and what they represent. Other variables we have up here is another text global called stop. That's just going to be that add-on, BR Tasker add-on, or whatever variable you called it over in Tasker. These colors here, start color, stop color, and reset are the colors that we see here, depending on whether the stopwatch is started, stopped, or reset. So, you know, going back and forth through these, this is when we have start. This is when we started the stopwatch. This is when we pause or stop. That's why it's turning red. Then if I press the reset button there, it will turn blue. So that's those colors there. And then we also have this button alpha that I have set to zero. These button colors here are just to symbolize where we can touch to trigger those tasker tasks that I'm gonna show you in a second. The alpha is originally set to zero, but these are the actual spots where you can touch to activate these buttons on this PNG image that I made in Affinity Designer. So back to our items, we have the image that you see here inside of items in our stopwatch is just the black circle with the uh, black buttons, that image that was made in Affinity Designer. The display is going to contain three different overlap groups, started, stopped, and reset. For started, that's going to be the green one that we see right here. And this, inside of the component, the layer of that overlap group is the following. If GV status is equal to started, I always want to see it, otherwise I never want to see it. So whenever I press the start button or the green button on that stopwatch, technically we don't even see a green button, we want to see this overlap group. Otherwise, we never want to see it. But you may wonder, how are we triggering GV status in this component? I'll show you that right here in a second. For the started piece, that text is going to be the following. TF GV current, and then after a comma, we can put HH colon MM colon SS. It's going to take that epoch, those number, those all those seconds from epoch time, and it's going to convert it to hours, minutes, and seconds. So if you leave that off, if I take that away, check out what we got. By default, it looks like it's listing it in hours, but that's why I'm going to do hours, hours, minutes, minutes, seconds, seconds. Then for our overlap group, all of this is inside of display, and I kind of have it somewhat centered in this stopwatch too, by the way. The next one is stopped. Its layer, its visibility is going to be set something remotely similar to what we just saw, except now if GV status is equal to stopped, I always want to see it. Otherwise, I never want to see it, and that's because this is the stop display. So this red one, notice it says never down here, but if I press this red, notice it says always because now our GV status is stopped. So we're going to see this particular display. Now the advanced editor may not show exactly what it is, but that'll be all right. If I go over to items, look at its code, it's going to be TFGV stop and the same display, HHMMSS. Last but not least, the reset group. And the only time we'll see this one underneath layer, it's visibility. If GV status is equal to reset, I always wanna see it, otherwise I never wanna see it. I still have not showed you how to toggle the GV status in KOWP yet for this component, but I'm about to show you that right here in a second. Notice it says never down here right now, but let's reset it. Now it's going to be shown because our GV status is now set to reset. 
the text that we have inside of here is no code. It's just HHMMSS. Whenever I reset the stopwatch, this is what's always going to show up. Plus, there's a lot more going on with Tasker and some of these globals that we have. With that said, let's look at the buttons finally. And the buttons that we have here are stop, reset, and start. Let's go to start first, which is going to be this green one that we have over here. Now, originally, it's alpha is going to be zero, so you're not going to see this, but that's not what I'm talking about. If we go over to touch for that button, there's two things we want to toggle. We want to toggle our global switch status. That's the global in KOWP. And since we're pressing the green button, we want to set it to start it. This is what's going to allow the green display to come up because if GV status equals started, I always want to see the green one, that one right there. Now, what's the other thing we want to do? We want to trigger a task shortcut. So launch shortcut, task shortcut. And since this one is the stopwatch start, that's that task we made back in Tasker in part one. This is the task that we want to trigger here because this is our start button. Now you may be asked to pick an icon. I did mention that back in part one, you have to pick an icon for your task in Tasker in order to apply it to KOWP. It's just one of those things you have to do. Very similar for stop, that's going to be the red one. So if we go over to touch for this button that we see right here, we're triggering two things. We're launching a shortcut. It's still a task shortcut, but it's going to be stop, watch, stop. And we also want to toggle this global switch that we have inside of our component. We're toggling the GV status and we want to set it to stopped. If we press this, we should see the red piece now. Now I didn't show you the colors for this back in the displays, but I'll show you that right here in a second. So I just pressed the red button and we see this red text. That red text is going to fall underneath display and stopped. Now remember, this display that shows zero minutes, zero seconds, and zero hours or whatever, this thing is going to be showing now because GV status is stopped. If we go back to this text item and we look at the paint, it is going to have that stop color applied to it, the red one. So I'm kind of getting them color coordinated here or whatever. And then back to our buttons for the reset button, which is the blue one. The blue one here is going to toggle two things when we touch it, or it's going to apply two touches. Launch shortcut, task shortcut, and we want to reset our stopwatch. And I think that one was SW reset. Then also for our toggle global switch, toggle GV status to reset. So let me show you what's gonna happen when I press that button right here in a second. If I go back to display and I look at my display for reset, this is the one that's automatically set to HHMMSS. And this text is going to be blue because that's my color for reset that we saw back earlier in the globals. So when I press the reset button, we're gonna see the HHMMSS. And then just backing out of this, going back to the globals, what I would do here, once you have your button set up nicely, come back to the button alpha. The button alpha is going to make those colors go away up here. Again, that's just to give you an idea of where you want to uh, touch, where you want your button to be. You don't need the button alpha here. I've covered that in previous videos, but uh, what you could do is just put a circle somewhere up here around this spot and somewhere around this spot and somewhere around this spot. It can be any shape you want it to be. Set its paint to completely transparent and it's a wrap. That's exactly what you want to do here. I just decided to put the button alpha here for you to see where those buttons actually are. And there you have it, part two to the stopwatch. First part, part one, check it out. That's all the tasker stuff. Part two is the custom stuff. Again, don't forget to pick up the free component from my free components folder or the animated wallpaper from my free wallpapers folder. They're both called Stopwatch. And if you do have access to my Tasker files, you can get the Tasker project that I called Stopwatch back in video one from the Tasker files. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.